Hi, welcome to this video. I've just created a lot of uh, aliases and I want to go over together with, uh, with you with them. So an alias is something you create to be efficient because your memory fails you because it's too technical to remember a long line of code and you just want to type a few letters instead of 20 letters or things like that. All right. So if you type alias, you'll see that uh, Arclinux is, is quite fond of aliases, <laughs> to say the least, right? Now, all of these aliases, you can change them. So indeed, we have a lot of aliases. We have tutorials on Arclinux.com where it tells you if you are in bash RC, you put in a bash RC personal. And you see you can have more <laughs> things as well right but it says if you down here in the bash rc it says go read whatever is going in the bash rc personal and it's added to it because when you do a skull and that's also an alias this one will be overwritten so all your personal aliases need to be here the same applies for zshrc and ZH zshrc personal so if you say up oh, all, oh, I don't want it to do with Paru, I want it to do with EA, you're gonna change it in, right, in the personal file. And you can rearrange, change, add, etc. in the personal file. So let's go ahead, um, let's have a look first what I have at this point in time, FZSH. So this applies to both of them. So I'm gonna open ZSHRC. The bunch of things that have been added is because we are working on a new tool, an Arcanix desktop treasure. You've been asking for it. If we can install stuff, Eric, can we also remove stuff? Yes, we can. And it's in a very experimental stage yet. So let's move this to the other screen. And I wondered why we've never done, but done this before because, um, tja. We always launch Arclix Tweet Tool with Ctrl Alt E and it runs. But today I need to really see what's going on. And what we always say is if an application, any Linux application, anywhere, right? Just Linux, then you start it up in a terminal. So ATT is now an alias. So we're going over these bunch of things here and it just says ATT equals Arclinux tweak tool. Okay, cool. So faster, less typing, that's what aliases are for. So here we install our desktop with this thing. This is what I'm doing lately. <laughs> so one in here, control T, and the other one in there, the desktop treasure. It's a new application. I hope it's, um, well, don't try it yet. It's still experimental. Unless you feel like beta testing and you do it in a virtual machine and it doesn't matter then, right? So a bomb there for a reason. Big letters in red. There's no guarantees. Use with care. Functionality of other desktops may be compromised. Make backups. I mean, it's clear. Trash, we've chosen the name trash, not remover, but trash, okay? So there is a sound of imminent danger in the word trashing something. So that's um, clear to you that you don't do this on your, your real machines, unless you've tried it out on something else first, All right? So these options at this point in time, the look will change or surely, but the code behind it is sound, meaning we can remove things, trash things, etc. So, all right. But like I said, experimental. The Arclinux better lock screen. So we've tried to start always with an A and then two letters. So Arclinux better lock screen. And there it is. Ready to rock and roll. Arclinux get the mirrors is another thing that's actually uh, going to provide us with a new list, an N mirror list. And mirror list is another alias, and I've just changed my, my, my mirror list to just the one, right? That's another 
Control X. That's another one. Um, that's um, AOM, Arconix Osbeck as Mirror. Arconix Osbeck as Mirror, AOM. And if I type this one, it's just gonna be that one. Because I know this is the very, um, well, most of the time it's always update. Uh, up to date and it's it's synced and it's fast etc so the, for me this one is the only one that I really trust right so if you have also something like that in Japan or Australia or America right make your own alias rename it in the Bash RC personal rename it in the Bash RC uh, type something equivalent uh, make your own alias to get the mirrors in basically it's just copy paste the cat put it in there in the mirror list and then your server is in there now mirror list is for many uh, the Osbeck one is for many people a good one so even uh, we have uh, people in, in America in, in Japan in Australia and they were all good Osbeck right this doesn't matter that's the the server that's actually down uh, Arch, Arch Linux Quantum Space Stingy well, it's not uh, responding, as simple as that. And here we have the result of this thing running. So we got ourselves servers, other servers. Mm, okay, and now we update. And then the first one, the first one that um, is in my list is going to be used. I'm all good, we're all up to date. I can also ask him the Arconix mirror ranking so the Arcolix uh, mirror ranking, MR, and it's gonna check out these mirrors. And it's gonna give me the mirror URL, the age and the fetch time. So Melbourne is, is the furthest away. How that's possible, I don't know. There's, those are scripts, right? They run, and I think, how is Melbourne ever even in the list? I get Germany, I get from Netherlands, and I get France, but uh, UK it's just a name okay then I get it the next one we got to get mirrors we've done that Osbeck is mirror we've done that Arconix reflector simple Arconix reflector simple just made help somebody out online so there's also a, um, an, um, a reflector simple on the AUR doesn't seem to work for him I says don't don't do that uh, install the Arco Linux reflector simple and that works just fine so it's just a basic GUI to tell you I want to have worldwide servers or you take your neighbors right Belgium and then look up for France and then so on and then England and Germany and and say okay go and have a look sort by this sort by that and in the end it's it goes to reflector and it's gonna be a long list of things to do for reflector articles tell me articles tell me i should make this bigger to have a better effect raw questionable day ask somebody something atm it wasn't for newton you wouldn't have to eat bruised apples okay true and so on 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 so maybe it's something to start your day with and say when i start up my computer and i type ctrl t i don't see this one but i see atm i see uh, a comment and um, articles tell me tomorrow there will be a great disturbance in the workforce maybe 80 90 99. then we have the articles vbox share Arconix VBox share is actually something that is not necessary to do here. I can do it, I've already done it. I mean, but it's actually done for the virtual box. So inside, I've made tutorials about this for sure. And now it's, it's time to hear me. If you are a builder and you want to build your own distros, that's a good way to do it. You have your computer, and you have a virtual machine and inside the virtual machine you have after a clean install a very clean image at that point in time you share you run this thing if yes and then you can share between guest and host and any configuration you think is appropriate for your distro you move it out of 
the virtual machine onto your real machine, the real metal thing. And then you package it and then you make, you put it online on the repo. And that's how you uh, work certainly um, for deconf as well, deconfuser, the file that we need for GNOME, for Cinnamon, for Budgie, things like that. Experiment in a virtual box, put the files, the configs, get them out of there and then package it. So that's what this is for. And then the Arclinx welcome app. Awa, and Awa, right? Awa. Awa. And that's it, guys. So a little less typing and a little bit more of, uh, well, shortcuts, aliases. Because these days I wake up and I run an ATT and then I run an ADT and then start installing awesome, start removing awesome, start installing BSPW, start removing BSPW and so on. So that's my work of today. All right, cheers.